To get us started, we're going to take a look at the rules for adding and subtracting fractions, okay? So rules for adding and subtracting fractions. All right, so let's start with the first rule. Um, number one, you want to um, express the fraction that you're adding in proper or improper forms, okay? So express the fractions in proper or improper forms. What does that mean? It basically means that if you have, for instance, you have a mixed number or um, a, a whole number, you convert them into improper fractions. Okay, so mixed and whole numbers get converted to uh, improper fractions. Okay, all right. Step number two, um, sometimes you might have a situation where you have adjacent signs, two operations next to each other. In that case, you have to resolve the signs. All right. So uh, step two, you multiply adjacent signs when applicable. Okay unapplicable. Alright, so now you're ready to add. So now you just proceed to add um, or subtract the numerator add or subtract the numerator. The reason why you can do this is because the, no the denominators are already alike. Okay, so add or subtract the numerator and keep the denominator. So that's how you um, add it. And then lastly, in certain cases, you might have to reduce your results to its simplest form. All right. So let's take a look at the formula for um, adding and subtracting fractions. Fractions with identical denominators. So the formulas are as follows. Uh, so if you want to add, let's say you have a fraction A over B plus another fraction c over b. You see you have identical denominators. The rule is you add the numerator a plus c divided by and keep the denominator. All right. How about if you wanted to subtract? If you want to subtract let's say a over b minus c over b, what you do is you subtract the numerator and keep the denominator. So that's basically how you add and subtract integers. Um, sorry, how you add and subtract uh, fractions with like denominators. Now let's take a look at uh, some examples. The instructions for the examples are for us to evaluate the given fractions, okay? Question one, let's say we have two over three plus five over three. Now, how do we do this? Now, if you take a look at the two fractions we have, two over three plus five over three, this, the first fraction is uh, an improper, is a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And the second fraction is an improper fraction. So these forms are good for us to add and subtract. Okay? So all you simply do is you add the numerator 2 plus 5 divided by the denominator 
and then you keep the denominator, which is 3. Okay, 2 plus 5 is 8. Uh, 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 divided by 3. You can also express this as, as mixed numbers, okay? You just simply divide um, 7 by 3. 3 goes into 7 um, twice, remainder 1, so we can write it as 2 uh, and 1 third. Alright, so these are the answers in two different forms for uh, question number 1. Now let's try another example. Let's try question two. What if we have to evaluate five over two, negative five over two plus three over two? All right, the solution is as follows. Let's take a look at the forms that we have. Negative five over two uh, plus three over two. We have two improper fractions, which is fine. Um, we only have problems when we have mixed numbers and integers, uh, whole numbers, okay? Now, um, all we just simply do is subtract the numerator, negative 5 plus 3, divided by the denominator, which is 2. You keep the denominator, all right? Negative 5 plus 3, since the signs are different, you subtract and keep the sign of the bigger, which is 5. The bigger is 5 and the sign of 5 is negative, so we have negative 2 over 2. You can divide this by 2 top and bottom and you end up with negative 1 as your final answer. Alright, let's try another example. Question number 3. Let's say you want to find 2 and a half minus 9 over 2. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. So if we take a look at this scenario we have here, 2 and a half minus 9 over 2. Now what you notice is that we have a mixed number and an improper fraction. Okay, so this fraction 2 and a half is, mix, is, is a mixed number in this 9 over 2 is an improper fraction. Okay, well, if you have a situation like this, you cannot add or subtract. Remember, the fractions you're adding should be in um, mixed numbers or they should be proper or improper fractions in order for you to add or subtract, okay? But we have a mixed number and an improper fraction, so this mixed number has to be converted into a into an improper fraction, okay? So to do that, we just simply multiply 2 by 2, and then we add that to the uh, 1 and divide by 2, okay? So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so 5 over 2 minus 9 over 2. Now we have two improper fractions, we may now subtract, okay? So how do you subtract? You subtract the numerator, and keep the denominator. Negative 5, I mean positive 5 minus 9 gives us negative 4 over 2. Now we can reduce this by thinking about the greatest common factor of negative 4 and 2. What goes into 4 and 2? 2 is the greatest common factor, so we divide top and bottom by 2. And then that gives us um, bring down the negative, 4 divided by 2 is 2 over 1, and then t any number divided by 1 is that number, so negative 2 is the final answer for question number 3. Alright, now let's take a look at the last one, question 4. Let's say you want to find the difference between uh, 5 and two-thirds and negative four and a third. Okay? Alright, so what's this going to be? So let's take a look at what we have right here. Uh, we have two mixed numbers and we have two adjacent signs next to each other. So there are two problems that we have to fix here. 
So what we're going to have to do is convert both of them to improper fraction and then we have to resolve this product of signs that we have that we have here. Okay? All right. So if you want to convert 5 and 2 thirds to improper fraction, you multiply 3 by 5 and you add 2. Okay? 3 times 5 is 15. You add 2 to 15. You have 17 over 3 minus and minus. So if you have two minuses next to each other, minus times minus, you multiply them. When you multiply identical signs, it becomes a plus. Same procedure applies to 4 and a third. You multiply the 3 and the 4 and then you add it to 1. So you have plus 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So 13 over 3. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add these two numbers. But they have the same denominator. So we just simply add the numerator. 17 plus 13 divided by the denominator, which is 3. 17 plus 13 is 30 divided by 3. 30 divided by 3, we know 3 goes into 30 10 times, 3 goes into 3 once. So if you divide a numerator and denominator by 3, which is the greatest common factor, you end up with 10 over 1, which is equal to 10. And that's your final answer. Now, how well did you master the process that we just went over on how to add and subtract fractions with li like denominators? To ensure mastery, we'd like you to try out um, the following problems. So the instructions are to evaluate. Number one, let's say you have 2 over uh, 7 plus 5 over 7. And then number two, you have 1 over 4 minus negative 5 fourths. Number three, let's say you have 5 and the third minus 2 and the third. Number four, let's say you have 3 and a fifth plus negative 5 and 1 fifth. Alright, so what I'd like you to do is go ahead and pause this video. Try out these four problems. When you're done, click on play to uh, check your answer, which we will be revealing momentarily. Alright, let's hope that you had the chance to try out the problems. The answers to the problems are as follows. For question 1, the answer is um, going to be 1. 7 over 7, which reduces to 1. Question number 2, the answer is 3 over 2. Question 3, the answer is 14 over 3. And then question 4 reduces to negative 2. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If this tutorial helped you in your studies of addition and subtraction of fractions, do give us a thumbs up, your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to uh, respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. More clips and support resources for your mastery of Algebra 1 can be found on mathgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.